The Courage to Let Go of Feelings of Inadequacy by Scott Stoner. A flower does not think of competing with the flower next to it. It just blooms. A quote by Zen Shin. Perfectionism and feelings of inadequacy often go hand in hand. It is the feeling of being inadequate that can drive someone toward perfectionism. It is also possible that feelings of inadequacy hinder a person from believing that they can do or achieve things that are worthwhile. In this case, rather than motivating the person to try to be perfect, feelings of inadequacy may cause the person to give up trying at all. In the story we looked at last week of the Samaritan woman who meets Jesus at the well, we see a woman who is hindered by deep feelings of inadequacy. It is only through her confession and encounter with Jesus that she overcomes her feelings of not being good enough and is then able to go forth so deeply transformed that her testimony begins to transform others. We see a similar transformation in the story of the man blind since birth. Once Jesus heals and changes him, he goes on to change others with his testimony. Feelings of inadequacy should not be confused with humility. Humility is a spiritual virtue that has been described as not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less often, and being modest about your own place in the world. Love is grounded in humility. It is difficult to love ourselves and others if we are overwhelmed by feelings of inadequacy. To paraphrase the quote above about the flower, a flower doesn't waste energy wondering if it is inadequate compared to other flowers, but it simply uses its energy to bloom. Making it personal. Have you struggled or do you currently struggle with feelings of inadequacy? If so, what gives you the courage to let go of those feelings? Do you see how letting go of feelings of inadequacy could free up energy to help you bloom. We all struggle with feelings of inadequacy. At some point in our lives, we are confronted with our own limitations. When this happens, we tend to grow frustrated, fearful, impatient, perhaps even angry with ourselves. When has this happened in your life? Although it's still Lent, the 25th of March is a major feast day in the church calendar. The Annunciation of our Lord Jesus Christ to the Blessed Virgin Mary. This story from the first chapter of the Gospel according to Luke tells of the Archangel Gabriel's visit to Mary. The dialogue between the two is profound and moving. It begins with Gabriel saying to Mary, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. Mary's response is described in this way. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. The writer describes her reaction to his greeting as being perplexed and that she pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel responds as if she is exhibiting fear, perhaps anticipating what she might feel after his next announcement. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord our God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. I believe that maybe Mary's perplexed response, her pondering, and perhaps even her perceived fear, was in part because 
she felt inadequate. Her feelings of inadequacy, of carrying, birthing, and raising the Son of the Most High. I mean, who could ever feel adequate enough to do that? No one. The message of the Gospel is in part a story to remind us over and over again that it's not about our adequacy that makes us worthy or forgivable or lovable. The woman at the well, the man born blind, even the Blessed Virgin Mary were all prone to feelings of inadequacy. It's natural for us to feel this way as well. It's God through Jesus Christ who makes us adequate who makes us all that is necessary to be called worthy. You are worthy. I am worthy. Because today we are loved. And this love will give us all the courage we need to live. God bless you.